Not only to occupy our territories, but also to make the life of Ukrainians unbearable is the goal of the Russian occupiers. That is why they purposefully destroy civilian infrastructure of Ukraine with massive missile strikes. In particular, this week, the shelling of our energy sector continued. Although the targets of attacks have changed several times since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. See details in our review. For more than a day, the firefighters extinguished an oil depot on the outskirts of the city, which was hit by a Russian missile on March the 26th. Fuel warehouses became one of the first targets of the invaders' missile attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure immediately after the invasion. Russia destroyed 27 oil depots across Ukraine, resulting in $227 million of losses. Also, two attacks on April the 2nd and April the 24th destroyed the Kremenchuk oil refinery. Since the end of March, Russians have been actively attacking railway infrastructure facilities, including electrical substations. The occupants planned to paralyze the supply of goods from the border areas of the west to the center and east of the country. Traction substations in nine regions were damaged by missile strikes. In addition, since the beginning of the full-scale war, about 6,000 kilometers of railway tracks have been destroyed or lost control. And since mid-autumn, Russians have been actively destroying Ukraine's energy system. The first massive attack on it took place on October the 10th. We are dealing with terrorists. Dozens of missiles, Iranian shahads, they have two targets – energy facilities throughout our country and our people. They want panic and chaos. They want to destroy our energy system. They are hopeless. According to official data, due to the Russian terrorist attacks, about 50% of the energy infrastructure of Ukraine was damaged, including all thermal and hydroelectric power plants. Some of them were completely destroyed. The occupiers destroyed 90% of the solar energy infrastructure. Most of the facilities were located in the south of the country, in the territories that were or remain under occupation. Russians have already fired about a thousand shells, missiles and drones at Ukraine's energy system. 40% of high-voltage network facilities have been damaged. In particular, 70% have been shelled several times. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Latest news, trends and analytics on all about Ukraine. Like, share and subscribe. Any questions, proposals and comments, contact us via email.